Hello, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I thought we would do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about things that you can find around your house to sell on eBay. This will be especially helpful, I think, for people who are just getting started or are maybe looking for extra ways to make money, especially during these uncertain times where everyone's at home and maybe getting out to go thrifting or garage selling is put on hold. There are ways to make money by basically thrifting your house. Pardon me while I move my leg. Okay. And I am live. So if you're here live, then welcome. I wanted to do this video live. I thought about doing it and recording and editing and putting it up. But I thought there's a wealth of information in this community, especially if you're watching and you're uh, on the fence about selling or you're nervous about selling on eBay. I thought this would be a great opportunity to not only hear my point of view, my opinions and the things that I have brought in from around my home, but also you can check the chat and I'll put um, different people's comments up like so hello so that you can see them and hopefully get some other ideas and build up your confidence in taking that first step in selling on ebay i just randomly went around the house grabbing different a different variety of items that i thought most people you won't have the same items but the same categories of items uh, that you would probably have around your house uh, that you could flip and I calculated that just these things that I grabbed from around the house would probably make me between six and seven hundred dollars if I got off my lazy tail and listed them I'm not lazy y'all know that I'm just busy I'm a busy gal all right so uh, Anne was saying I was just watching your video on embedding Embedding videos, game changer, totally. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a good one. It's it's a great tool for sure. All right, so let me get started. I went around the house and kind of grabbed things that you know, if you were Marie Kondoing it, you know, looking at things like I don't really use this. I don't really. This doesn't bring me joy. Or maybe it's a gift that you got that you have never used. It's been sitting up in the top of your closet. Uh, or let's see what else have I got here. I've got like outdated electronics. I've got things that I thrifted that I thought I was going to keep and use that I never did. Toys. Randoms, y'all. So I thought we could uh, take a look at that and, and see. And then maybe that would point you in the direction around your home. Because it's not just clothes and shoes and purses, ladies. <laughs> that, that Well, those will sell. But if you really dig deeper and think about it, things you might just toss out will definitely, definitely be something you can sell. sell. All right. So Kath Catherine says, I want to list on eBay. Not really sure how and what all is involved. I'm learning. Yeah, it's it can be a learning curve to get started for sure, but it's definitely worth it to, to figure it out. And I always say, if I could do this, anybody could do this. So you can do this. And I got a question the other day on one of my other videos about, you know, people being afraid that the person buying their item might be a scammer. And I think just going into it, it there's too many what ifs. I mean, I think I don't I use I don't use the word scammer lightly. I think maybe once in the entire time I've been selling on eBay, I could honestly say that I ran into a scammer, scammer. So all right, let's get going. So Debbie's saying July is going very well. Her sales are way up. Mine would probably be too if I were listing more. <laughs> but so it's yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's jump in. So the first thing that I'm going to share, and and again, comments are always welcome. The first item is a a mouse. <laughs> it's a mouse. It's a remote mouse, like a cordless mouse, and. The problem is I used to use this because the cord mouse always drove me bananas. So I used to use this, but one, the problem is that the dog always gets lost. I hate that word, but <laughs> the piece, the little doohickey doodad always gets lost. And then my, I use Apple computers. So now if I want to plug this in, this dongle has to get plugged into another dongle to make it work in my computer. So this is something that has been literally collecting dust. And I thought, you know what? I, I wonder how much that would sell for. So I did a little research 
And here on eBay, these are sold. This is the exact model that I have. And I see that they're selling anywhere open box, 15, 17. There are some that are lower, but approximately, here's another one, 20 bucks. So I could probably put mine up. You know, I might take a video. This is one of those opportunities where I would take a video showing that it actually works, embed it into my listing to help improve my chances of getting a good sale. And I could sell this that's been sitting around my house for maybe 15 to 20 bucks. So that's the first item. Looking in the chat real fast. Hi, everybody. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so next up, before I, I don't want to give it away, so I'm going to come peek real fast. The next thing, okay, so, and I do have more outdated electronics I'll share with you in just a second. The next item that I wanted to share with you are, now this is something that I got for myself, <clears throat> and I bought multiples of them, and this is a Firefly Serenity. It's like a collectible. It's a ship, right? Uh, like... It's a geeky thing. If you don't know what Firefly is, it's an amazing show that ended way too soon. And so I actually have another one of these out of the box sitting over there. Uh, but I bought multiple because I did. And I thought, well, maybe they'll go up or maybe I can send it as a gift, you know, because I have friends that like this kind of stuff. But again, it's just been sitting there in the box. So I thought, okay, let's take a peek at how much that would sell for. So here we are on eBay and here are some solds. This one was on auction, which I don't do auctions. And so for 25, this one, a best offer was accepted. It was listed at 60. Another one sold for $45. And so that's, uh, here's another one that sold for $69. So I kind of estimated around the $45 range, even though I'll probably list it a little bit higher. So that is something. If you've got maybe collectible items around the house that you are like, eh, I don't really need this. I, I could probably let, let this go, you know, just collecting dust. Then that's another thing that you can um, look at. Sorry, I was peeking at the chat. Uh, Heather says, yeah, we've been on eBay since the beginning. I can only remember two scammers. Yeah, it's, I think it's pretty rare. It's, it's a scary thing to consider, but I think overall it's pretty rare. Mm-hmm. Ah, Debbie says, great timing. I've been selling stuff from my whole storage closet. Yes. All right. Then the next category of items that I wanted to share, this is something that if you're already a reseller or not, I mean, I got a return and I do print on demand also, which is another way that I make money. I do print on demand, which means like you create a design and you upload it. Uh, there's Amazon that does print on demand, but there's also Printful and lots of other places. And I, if if a return goes back to Amazon, they deal with it. You know, you get, you know, the money doesn't, you don't get to keep the money, but you don't get the item sent to you either. So I don't know what they, anyway. But on Etsy, <laughs> this is an item that is a print on demand item that I have on Etsy. It's a volcano. It's an embroidered hat. And I can honestly say it's my first ever return um, doing print on demand stuff on Etsy. But the guy was like, oh, you know, it didn't quite fit right. I'd like to return it. Sure, send it to me. So I got it and I considered keeping it because it's cool. It's this awesome volcano. It's embroidered. It looks good. I was actually I was glad because I'd never gotten one to see in person. So I was tempted to keep it and then decided, you know, we've got so many hats around this house. I really don't need to keep this hat. So I'm going to resell it to make the money back on it. Now, when I look, there's not a hat like this hat out there because this is one that I designed with the flaming volcano. It's volcano on top of volcano. And so when I'm looking at a volcano baseball hat, I see like the teams, volcano teams. And I think I thought I searched a little bit deeper on that one, but there, there really wasn't. A whole lot out there. So chances are likely that I'm going to list this for about $40 just because. Why not? There's not really a point of reference and that way I'll make my money back. So that's that. So yeah, if you are already in and, and the way to look at that is well, like I don't do print on demand, so that doesn't really apply to me. 
let's say your husband runs a business and he actually bought too much office supplies or, you know, just, or you, I don't know, just things that are overstock or things that are things that have gotten returned or something you bought and said, I have so many, I have things that my mom has bought that she missed the deadline on returning them. And so rather than just donating them, you know, she'll give them to me to, to resell, you know, to resell them. So if you miss the deadline on returning something you bought, that's another thing like, Oh, okay. I can, Flip that on eBay too. Make my, you know, at least get my money back. I I, I brought you Thor to watch while I, <laughs> if I have to take a sip, at least your eyes can feast upon. Anyway, <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, Heather says I'm blurry. Um, reload. Hopefully, oh, please let me know. Yeah, because I just realized the kids are playing video games. So let me know if the stream is not good. I, me I meant to say that. Uh, Denise says, massive decluttering so your kids don't have to do it later when you pass. Oh, yeah, sounds morbid, but oh, so refreshing. And I will, one of the items that that I'm going to share is from my grandmother's stuff. Um, that is one of the ways I actually got started selling online was that when my grandmother passed, Everybody went and, you know, all the family got, you know, the things that they wanted. And there was just all this stuff left over. And so I was given the a task, the joy, the whatever, to, to start selling it, you know, and be able to keep the money from that. So she had a lot of stuff. So that was, you know, kind of how I got started. One of the, one of the two main ways I got started anyway. So there was that. Um... Just double checking before I move on to the next item. Uh, clean to the kitchen drawer. Found a Martha Stewart cookie cutter. Sold them for 50 bucks. Yes. That's awesome. Uh, I have some cookie cutters. Or did I end up selling them? They were like Marvel cookie cutters. And they were like the pressed kind that you like press Spider-Man's face. And they were from uh, not Sir La Tabla. What's the other cooking store? I can't think of what it's called right now. Because I haven't been to a mall in forever. It'll come back to me. Anyway, it was from this other fancy schmancy cooking store. And they were they were pretty pricey. Okay. I'm looking real fast. And then we're going to move on. <laughs> Hello, Bad Biscuit. Thanks for coming. And, okay. Susan says, I have hundreds of things to sell. I'm just intimidated mailing them out. I have two printers. I've not even opened. Really need to see. Oh, yeah. And the, the shipping was, the shipping was 100% the most challenging thing for me to overcome. And so take your time with that. I suggest taking your time with that. William Sonoma, that's the one. Thank you. That's the kitchen store I was thinking of. Okay. So the next item that I wanted to share was an, okay, now it's buried because I was researching everything and got buried. It was just something I bought, like, because I like, so maybe you you like going to garage sales or thrifting or whatever, and you get stuff, and you're like, but I don't really sell. I just like to do it for me. Um, so I got this, I think, at a garage sale. And it's just a little money box, a little metal box that holds stuff. I don't have the key. I don't think. It might be. It's taped in there. Um, but then I was like, you know, I really don't need this little money box thing. So let's see what that might sell for. So the one I have now... It's not, one, I don't have the, the key for it, but I mean, I could probably get about 10, maybe $15 for it. There's one here that was $10. $10. Um, but you know, my thought process too is every, every dollar counts, every dime counts. It all rolls into $1 and then into 10 and then to 100. Um, uh, I hope I say your name right. Ishan says, do I still think ceramic mugs are in trend? Absolutely. I absolutely still sell mugs. And if I was able to go out thrifting, I would still be buying mugs. And so that's another thing around your house. If you've got cool mugs, they will sell <laughs> for sure. Okay. Then, ah. Uh, uh oh, I feel like I'm in the first part of this. All of a sudden, I found three packs of jewelry I had put up. I didn't think I could sell it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Rebel Junkie. Absolutely all adds up. It, it, it does. My kids, it sounds like growling. Anyway, okay. 
um, pardon me. And, and I am also a firm believer, you know, I, if I can make a $5 profit, I'm happy. I'd love to make more than that clearly, but it's a profit. It's a profit. You know what I mean? Definitely. Okay. So the next thing, again, you may collect different things. Well, you probably collect different things than I do, but I like geeky stuff. And so I, and blind bags, I love blind bags. So forever ago, we got a bunch of these Harry Potter keychain blind bags. And so I have got a ton of these Harry Potter keychain characters. Dumbledore's glasses are broken there though. Uh, and so I was like, you know what, what am I gonna do? I have some of them in use. There he is in his Quidditch uniform. And he is in his uniform uniform. You can't see that. Um, so I have all of these <laughs> collectibles. Maybe you collect precious moments or maybe you collect willow tree figures or maybe you collect anything else. But whatever you collect, you know, maybe dig through it and see. Now, these keychains, these blind bag keychains, some are worth more than others. I could probably lot them up and sell them for even more. This, uh, there, and these ones are Funko Pop. So the the Snape one here, this is this one sold for thirty five. This is coming from Italy, so I don't know about the shipping. Maybe is weird on that, um, but that's something else to consider. So I know I saw another one. Do I have this not? Okay, here we go. Uh, so here we go. Here's one from the blind bag, sold for maybe about ten dollars. That one sold for three. I probably wouldn't bother at that point for selling it at three bucks, but maybe you know. I would lot them up and sell a few of them together. If I lot all of these, maybe put them up for 10 or 15 bucks. I can't tell if they're whispering to talk to me or whispering to kids. Are you wanting to talk to me? Um, can I ask you a question? Yes. One moment. Sorry. Okay. All right. Thank you, honey. All right. So, uh, Rebel Jenks says, yeah, if you collect it, chances are someone else does too. Absolutely. My, uh, my mom collects Alice in Wonderland. She collects Flo Blue, like porcelain. So, you know, there's collectors for, for all kinds of things out there. Okay, so there's that. Another thing that you might consider are housewares. And this is, a again, geeky here, but, but housewares. Because say someone is looking for a green ceramic toothbrush holder. It doesn't have to look like a dragon's egg. Bonus points if it does. But, you know, I've got this. It could be used as a, you know, like a cotton ball holder or a toothbrush holder. Again, just because I like geeky stuff. But you could apply this to any other houseware you've got. T tissue box covers. Oh my gosh, I've, I've started picking up tissue box covers because people want tissue box covers and they need to have a certain look to them. So I'm just saying, if you've got stuff like that, definitely look into what it might sell for. So this one is a Game of Thrones. The one I've got is a Game of Thrones tissue box. I mean, not tissue box, but toothbrush holder. And mine so here's one that's up for 15 29 15 dollars and 29 cents uh what did i say here it is yeah 15 dollars and 29 cents on that one i don't have the box anymore so mine might not sell as much but what i would also do is don't automatically go off of the price let's say you see one up there and you're like oh you know what there's only it's $15 i'll just keep it um if that's the only one up there and i didn't even check but just as a point Let's say you're looking and there's only one or two up there and they're like 15 bucks or something. That That's not like, no, there's no rules in reselling. Well, there are rules in reselling, but there's no rules in like how you have to price. If you're like, you know what? I really want to get more for this. Put more on it. You know, yeah, some people will tell you you're crazy, but you know what? You can crazy it all the way to the bank when somebody buys it. So yeah, <laughs> definitely you know, don't just take what price you see there as the gold standard of what the price has to be. Um, because there's so many other factors, like if your pictures are better or if yours, I don't even, I mean, there's just so many factors. Yeah. Price it how you want to price it. Oh dear. Okay. I'm, I'm looking, I think I missed something in the chat. <laughs> oh, hello, Travel Emporium. I'm so glad you're here. Um, let's see. 
Will you import products from other countries and resell them? Hmm. I haven't. Not necessarily. I have from Wish. I'll take that back. I have gotten some things from Wish and flipped those. But I would, I'm not opposed to it. But it just means having to spend more money, which is what I'm trying to avoid right now. Okay, next up. This, again, is an item that I bought for myself. My downstairs bathroom is nautical themed. And I like octopus. And, yeah, so I bought this to use, like, as a soap dispense, like a soap tray for, for soap. I need to clean it up a little bit more. But it's not really meant for that. And as I used it for a soap dish, I learned that really is not the best use for this <laughs> because it just gathers, like, the wet, yucky soap in the bottom. So I'm I, I, it was in my pile, okay? And now, now I'm on the fence about, like, do I really want to sell it? <laughs> but uh, this is a cool, like, pewter scoop. It's probably meant for ice or something else, not for holding your soap in your, in your nautical bathroom. But let's take a peek at what I might, if I sell it, sell it for. So this is not the same one. This is a similar one that's up for $24. I only found two. I found this one, and then I found one that was probably mine. This one looks shinier than mine. But it's saying it's out of stock, and it was uh, 16 bucks. It says brand mud pie. I guess I'll have to look that up a little deeper. But so now I'm thinking, okay, so if I do decide to sell it, then I'll probably put 25 or $30 on it. So that makes it a little easier for me to let go of. Once I scrub it out a little bit more. Yeah. Anyway, so. Oh, yeah. Rebel Junk says, sometimes if you have more pictures than the next post, it will make the buyer more confident in what they're getting. Yeah, that, uh, your your rating, like if you've got, you know, 100% or 95% of good positive feedback and they're like a little bit lower than yours. If you've got a video in your listing showing it, if you've, I mean, there's so many other factors that, you know, maybe yours has all the details and you put the measurements and the lot, the other one, like, Oh, they didn't put the measurements. And I really want to know how big this thing is. All the little bitty details go into a person's decision. Cause I mean, technically, you know, I, I would pay more for something if I felt like it was better quality or if it, was from a more reputable seller. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, so next up, this is an item that was uh, just like a trinket, right? Like a, a little thing you might have around your house. This is, my grandmother was a porcelain artist and she had so much. This is not one that she painted, but she and her friends would trade. And so this one, and no, it's not transfers. They were actually like painting with teeny, beanie little brushes. And so, you know, signed by her friend. And why did I keep in this? I don't just random stuff. So I had this little porcelain dish that, you know, you could throw your pins in or you could, throw, I don't know, change or whatever. Earrings, you take your earrings off and throw them in there before you get in the shower. So this little trinket dish, it doesn't have a lid, but I still think it's okay to sell. And Again, on some of these, it's sort of like the Wild West as far as pricing. Whatever you feel, especially because it's hand done, somebody will see, you know, you can look over here. Here's the thing. You can look at all of these other ones. You know, I was looking to see, did I find one like it? No, I couldn't really find one like it. Oh, well, this one's eight bucks, so maybe I can only price it. Oh, this one's only 14 bucks. So here's the thing. The person that's looking for this isn't looking for that heart with the lid they're looking for something like this maybe they're looking for white blue and gold maybe they're looking for exactly this little trinket dish and so you can put whatever you feel like you want to put on it because when i looked and looked and looked i i couldn't find one just like this so if i just went like oh you know what these ones are all priced like 12 15 dollars i guess that's what i'm going to do too no because one, the quality is really, really nice on this. Two, I feel like I re I'm repeating myself, but that's fine. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, if, if it's what the person's looking for, then they're gonna be willing to pay within reason what, what you're asking for it. So chances are likely I'll probably put it around 20 bucks on that. <clears throat> okay, I'll get off that soapbox. But just wait, there's more soapboxes in your future. <laughs> okay, next up, I I have this. This was just, you know, this is like junk drawer stuff. Or you're digging through your garage or your laundry room. And you're like, oh, I got these things and we just never use them. I probably had this for two or three years. Q-knot, multi-purpose reusable ties. So they're like, you know, those pull ties to tie up stuff. But they're reusable, which is awesome. Which is probably why I bought them. But then I never used them. Um, actually, I think this came like in a mystery box. It did. They came in like a box of awesome or something like that. But again, still never use them. So I looked those up and these, you know, here's the, what is this? The same one? Do I have 25 in here? How many? Yeah. So here's the same one. This one sold for $8.99. I don't do free shipping. $7.96. So, you know, probably around 10 bucks is what I'll put on these depending on, because if you, again, if you just go by the solds, you're missing like, oh, wait, look, there's not that many up there. Here's ones up for 10 bucks. That's it as far as which ones are up there. So there's not a ton up there, really. 11 results, it says, and they're not all exactly the same. So, you know, I can put mine up for 10 or 15 bucks. And if somebody wants them, then that's what they're going to pay. Okay. Mm Looking in the chat real quick before I move on to the next item. So yeah, this is like laundry room, garage, junk drawer. Look and see what you got around there. <clears throat> okay, next. I was almost, I almost didn't share these in the video, but because I was like, oh, they're probably gonna be like, like a buck if I look them up. No. So these go with the costume. So one, kids' costumes sell. So if you've got kids or you just like kids costumes, <laughs> then definitely take a look at what those costumes can sell for because they're, you know how expensive they are. If you go like to spirit Halloween or you buy it at target or online, they're really expensive. But let's say you've got your whole Harry Potter costume, but all you need is the glasses. You're like, Oh, I need the glasses. Um, there you go. So how much could you sell them for? Just even a piece of the costume. If you're thinking, oh, you know what? I don't have the whole costume. I just have the mask. I don't have the, or I just have the bodysuit. Somebody's got the other part and they're looking for what you've got. So even if it's not complete, you could still sell it because they might just be looking for that part of it and they don't want the rest of it anyway. So here you go. There are different varieties. They're plastic ones. And these ones are metal with the, um, I guess they're hard plastic, maybe glass frames. But yeah, I mean, anywhere, here's mine. Well, that says four pairs of them, but you know, it's same deal here. Like, oh, well, four pairs, you know, I only have one and that makes them 250. No, you can't think that way. Cause I don't want four pairs of glasses. That's more junk laying around my house. I'd rather pay, you know, 10 bucks, just get one and not have all the junk laying around my house, right? So here you see like about $10 for one pair, $5. Here's another one, $12.95 $12 for that pair. So again, you can't e also just think, well, there's a four for, for that much. Somebody may not want four. They just want one and they don't, they don't care. They were planning on spending about 10 bucks anyway. Okay. <laughs> My lip is getting dry, sorry. I didn't, I didn't want you to think I was sticking my tongue out at you. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. So, costumes. <laughs> Next. Oh, uh, before I go on, go over there and hit the thumbs up, friends. Uh, and if you're watching later, leave me a comment and let me know what you would sell in any of these realms. Uh, because it does. It tells, it tells YouTube that you like my channel and that other people should like it too. Because I am trying to grow my channel. That is... Everybody has a dream, and that is mine, one of mine. Anyway, okay, so next up, this is an item that I found, you know, like in your nightstand, you just like have lots, maybe you don't, but I do. It's like a junk drawer of just random stuff, right? This um, is an old iPod that I found in my, you know, nightstand drawer, and it hasn't been used in probably a million years, 10 years, 
no, maybe 10 years. So it's an old iPod, 15 gigabyte. Um, so you might think, oh, you know what? Nobody uses that anymore. It even takes like an old charger. Hopefully it still charges, we'll find out. But anyway, it's still valuable even if it's not working, people. So let me share with you. Let's say you've got one of these and you're like, I don't even know where the cord is. It's probably not even working anymore. I should just throw it in a donate pile. No, come see, take a journey with me. Here's one, this 15 gigabyte, it says needs new battery. So clearly it's not working. And this one it sold for $25. So don't think that just because it's old technology or it's not working, somebody might still want it. They might repurpose it. They might repair it. Here's one that's been refurbished, 75 bucks. Here's one pre-owned. It's This one's even got, look, hang on, zooming in. Even the screen on that one is like a hot, hot mess. And that one sold on auction. You got two people wanting this for 1050, <laughs> two bids on that one. So there's money to be had. Here's another one, parts only, it says, parts only, 15 bucks, parts only, which means it's not working. They have no idea if it's working or not, 20 bucks. So old electronics, it's worth a look and see if you know you can flip it. Now, I, I think I have one of these chargers laying around, so I will probably go plug it in, charge it, and see if I can get it. Plus, I want to make sure, you know, I don't know. You may not like my style of music. <laughs> you get it, uh, and you charge it, and you get my music. So there's that. Okay. Next up. Okay, so the next thing is not, I have one, but it's not a great example. When your kids are cleaning out their toys, let's be real. When you are cleaning out your kids' toys, um, <laughs> you might take a peek at some of the things instead of just automatically donating them, seeing if they're worth anything. Now this is not one, but we have had Nerf guns that are worth money for sure. I have one back behind me that I still haven't listed uh, that we got, we got it in the bins though. Anyway, so here you can see like, well, if I had two of them, you know, 10 or $11, but there are some Nerf guns that are, I mean, this one's like 10 bucks. So even still, new 10, maybe, maybe. I just wanted to grab it because I didn't want to haul a big long rifle over here, truly. <laughs> so Nerf guns, Lego, I mean, even just like look, mini figs, just take a second, look it up. Cars, my, my nephew collects cutie cars, which are like, they're metal little cars, but then they look like fruit or taco or things like that. They're little food cars. And, and there's ones he's like, I need whatever the tomato one is called. I can't remember what it's called. I'm looking for that one. So, yeah, definitely. Mm. Ah, okay. Um, Candy Cat says, oh, if you have an old Alienware computer cell, people buy them to refurbish. I don't even know what an Alienware computer is. I'm just excited that they're <laughs> aliens involved. <laughs> okay, so, ah, uh, yeah. Are y'all talking about, oh yeah, I'm gonna come back. Sometimes old electronics are bought for props or decor. Absolutely, absolutely, um, which is, I, I have something else here that goes with that. I think I've had two things sell as props, one of them, the person actually sent me a letter telling me, you know, they were going to be, it was a pair of cufflinks. They were going to be worn on stage. I forget that. I'll have to go look for it. On stage by James Earl Jones. And I was so excited about that. I was like looking through all the press, uh, you know, the press pictures, looking to see if I could see the cufflinks on him. It was so exciting. Anyway, but there's a chance other things have been as well. You just don't know, right? Okay. Anne says, yeah, I sold a, a handbag to a TV studio. And sometimes you'll know because the, the shipping will be to a playhouse or a TV studio. That's pretty cool. That's always fun. Okay, next up is jewelry. You guys know I like to sell a lot of jewelry. But let's say you got something as a gift, you know, and you're like, oh, I could re-gift it or it's not really my style, you know, or maybe you buy jewelry. Uh, so, you know, dig through your jewelry box 
and perhaps you'll find some things that you thought you wanted and maybe you're like, oh, maybe not. And so you might think, oh, you know, just donate it. And as much as I, at the jewelry lover, want you to donate it so that I can get it in my, in my Goodwill box, <clears throat> pardon me, <coughs> it's definitely something you can sell. So let me flip over so you can see. I couldn't find my same exact one. But as you can see, multi-strand, twisty necklace, this one sold for $26, there's some for 10, just kind of depending on the necklace. You can, and I didn't do a deep search, but here, you know, 10, 30, 10, 18, I probably wouldn't do two. But I mean, chances are likely that it, 15, anywhere 15 to $20 is not out of the realm of possibility for me selling this. So there's that, okay. All right, so next up, the, okay, the next thing is another jewelry type piece, but it was one that I got at a garage sale thinking, oh, this is really nice, I'm gonna wear this. I think I'm gonna get a battery. Never got a battery, um, and it looks super fancy, and it looks like a vintage old watch, but it really isn't. It's an AccuTime, but it still has a really great look. I think this brand might be sold at Kohl's, but it still looks pretty fancy, right? Pay three bucks at a garage sale. And so chances are, I couldn't find the same exact one, but again, I didn't dig super deep. Chances are likely that I can sell it. I don't know. I, I wanna say 30 bucks, but I, I almost feel like I can get more. So we'll see. I'll just have to put a, a battery in it. Then, how we doing? Y'all running, running on fumes over there? Y'all good? Um, okay, this is another thing. I was blown away. I was like, you know what? I have all these closet organizers. I didn't look up this one. You know, one of those, you hook it on the back of the closet and you can hang stuff on it. And this is one that you put on like the, the bar and I guess you poke things through there for whatever reason, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but I had this, this is the one I looked up. Okay, and it looks like a medieval torture device. And y'all know I like looking for weird things at estate sales, like random stuff, like, can you unscrew this from the wall for me? You know, kind of like with the accordion wall hooks. Well, this is going to be a new on my watch list uh, because this is a collapsible. And I, I had this on my door. It was one of my grandmother's things. I had this on my closet door forever. You know, you hook it on there and then somehow it stays put. <laughs> and then you can hang all your stuff and then it, yeah, you can have it like that, if I can ever figure, anyway, there's a way to, oh, I see now, there's a way to hook it down there, one, two, three, can she do it, maybe, there we go, okay, haha, -ha. like that, so you put all your hangers, and you don't want it poking out like that, so then you can collapse it, so, all right, so anyway, you know what I'm talking about, okay, so it collapses down, so those Y'all, I was looking. Here's one that sold for $17.99. 18 bucks. I bet anything I could go to an estate sale. It'll be sitting on the back of a door and just say, hey, you know, can I take this off the back of the door? Here's one, $23. And then here's one. That $3.99 is on auction. I don't even count that because I don't really do auctions or pay attention to that. I feel like there was another one. Here's 12 of them that sold for $69. So I have a new, I haven't sold it yet. So can I, can I technically claim a bolo? Be on the lookout for if I haven't actually sold one. I, I am. So it's so there. So yeah, I'm going to be looking for these to put up on eBay because if I can get this for a buck or grab it off of my own closet door and sell it for $18, that's a win. I mean, cause look at it. Easy, easy. Ship that. <laughs> Yeah, Alicia says, don't let it get the best of you. It was definitely winning the battle. I oh, will win the war. Oh, Kathleen, thank you so much for the super sticker. I do have fun things. Thank you so much. Here we go. I got I to gotta find a good one for you. Here we go. Let's have Dolly. Dolly's giving you some love. Thank you for the super sticker. That means a lot. Um. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. 
So the next thing, just making sure there's nothing in the chat. Uh, okay, so another thing with, with either your kids or plush, right? People like plush. And at first, when I first started reselling, I, mugs and plush are the two things when I first started reselling. I was like, really? People buy used mugs? People buy used plush? Are you kidding me? No, they do. So I have this Peppa Pig. For whatever reason, my ex-husband used to buy me plush. And I've never been, like, I have a few. I'm not like a plush person. Anyway, he would buy me plush. So now I have, like, Kermit the Frog somewhere. And I've got, who bring me home plush? I don't know. Um, so I have this Peppa, which I like Peppa. Don't get me wrong. But I don't need Pe Peppa plush. So anyway, whether it's yours or your children's, if I could pry the plush out of my children's rooms, I would be selling them. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> it's a lot. There's a lot of plush. But this little Thai Peppa I could probably sell her for anywhere from $10 to $15. Boy, I wish I had Mr. Potato, though. All right, so here's one, you know, $9.99, $12.89, few different ones, depending on, mine doesn't have the wand, she's holding her little teddy bear. So, yeah, there's lots of different varieties. And then this is just Peppa, you know, exponentially. <laughs> Peppa is bossy. She really is. <laughs> she is very bossy. Yeah. Okay. Rebel Chung says, I didn't ever think anyone would buy plush, but they do go for good money. They do. They really, really do. Yeah. Okay. Then Deborah says, Kermit is big bucks. I need to go fish him out. He's either over here on my shelf somewhere or he's still in my closet. I think I have another tub full of things because I was going around the house just like I was grabbing tubs, going around the house, like throwing stuff in tubs. So there may be a follow up with part two other stuff from around the house to sell, yeah. Uh, oh, Riesel says, uh, I bought a plush blue box. I'm interested. Let me know how that goes for you because I I saw the, the <laughs> I'm kind of afraid. I, um, I saw those as well and I thought about it, but I was like, plush could be really crusty and gross and smelly and sticky, weird. Um, so yeah, it'd be it'd be very interesting to see how they look. Because sometimes you go to the, you know, if you're thrifting, you, you see plush and you're like, it's the stuff you get from the, the claw machine and it's like junky or like, or like the carny carnival ones that are extra crusty. So yeah, it's hit or miss. Okay. So next item, this is one of those that, let me pull it over here. There's more than one thing in here. So, um, was my grandmother's and it, I don't, I don't know why I've kept them so long, truly. It's a lot of camera lenses. I don't have the camera that goes with these. So they've just, I mean, it's just been sitting in the top of my closet. I don't even know why. I didn't look up all the camera lenses. I looked up one of them. There's some other attachments, accoutrement, all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, but I just looked up one of them because I don't really know fancy cameras at all. So Konica, I'm not even sure I'm saying that right. But when I looked it up, you guys, this one lens I'm seeing sold. Here's one that sold for 36, 40, 20, 67. I'll have to go through and look a little more closely to see like, why is this one a little bit more? Why is that one a little bit less? But I mean, I could probably get, see that one doesn't have the little case with it. I mean, so chances are likely that I could get about 50 bucks for this. 45, 50 bucks because it's got this, the case is in really great shape. It's got the lens and the lid or whatever, you know, it's got the front and the back covers. My grandmother loved silica gel. She put it in everything. She did. Anyway, there must have been a secret to it. Well, I mean, it obviously keeps things dry, but um, <laughs> this is true, Heather. He's now ex. So yeah, if you look around like Oh, I don't even have this. If you have a, a piece of electronics that like you find a charger for and you're like, I don't even have this thing that this charger goes to get rid of this charger. No, stop, put it on eBay because somebody else has that electronic and they're looking for that charger. So definitely 
things like that. Like, oh, I've got these lenses, but I don't, <laughs> I don't have the camera that it goes with, you know. Uh, so definitely. And then the bag. So the bag that it's in is a vintage, you know, vintage camera bag. So this will probably sell, the bag by itself will probably sell for 20 bucks. I don't know if that's real leather or faux leather. I don't know. I have lotion on, so I can't really. Ah, so Dave, Dave says uh, chargers are what I look for too. Yeah, when you go to, when you go to garage sales and estate sales, there's almost always like a, a tub full of cords. I avoid them like the plague because to me it's just like, my version of purgatory <laughs> trying to detangle and figure out all the cords now. So, but there's money there. That's the thing. There's money there. Okay. Next item. Oh, this is one for sure that you need to hear. Where'd it go? Oh, it's hiding. You may think what I'm showing you is more jewelry, but it is not. So James Avery is a jewelry brand, but the thing that I want you to think about, and yes, this is a jewelry box. But I'm not talking about selling the jewelry. And yes, that's a that's a you know baggie for jewelry. That was a piece of jewelry. Anyway, um, the box and the bag. If you've got, it could be Michael Kors, it could be James Avery, it could be Tiffany. Heaven help you. Um, any any kind of branded thing, Kendra Scott. The um, the boxes, the bags the the paperwork that this there's little paperwork in there that tells you how to care for your your piece like how to take care of it all of this stuff people will buy so and again you may already know this but so i i keep all of this stuff i love james avery stuff so i have all the boxes and i tend to keep my boxes anyway i guess i was just raised that way but let's take a peek at what you can get for some of this so here you see the one of these little boxes, the little box with the paperwork and the little pouch sold for almost $10. Boom, like that. Oops, upside down. Okay, so that's one. Then there was a lot of them. Where did they go? There's another one sold for seven something. Here's one with the bag and everything, 12 bucks. And you might think, oh, you know, that's not that much. It all adds up. Okay, some of these are showing jewelry, and then I'm getting sucked into looking at jewelry. But here you see four gift bags with boxes, $20. I mean, it, it adds up. So if you have some, or another one like those fossil watch tins, if you you know save up, some of those are worth money by themselves, and some of them, it, it's better to lock them up. So that's something for sure to sell. That... Yeah, just or like dust bags for purses. If you're like, oh, you know, I got this coach purse, but I don't really use dust bags, so I'll just get rid of it. Sell that puppy, you know, sell it. Oh, Teal Sun says, uh, gee, he, thank you for your advice. Give me courage to price high. Absolutely. Let me find a fun sticker for you. Oh, let's see. How about Lady Rainicorn? Lady Rainicorn and Princess Bubblegum are flying through the sky for you. And a song. How about that? Thank you so much for that super chat. That's very, very kind of you. Um, <laughs> Kathleen says, shut the front door. I'm going to sell some boxes. Totally. I mean, just check it out. Like bags from stores. What? I sold a Whataburger bag. A, it was a Whataburger, like a little pull string backpacky bag. I don't know if they used them for promotional items or if it was once upon a time the the kids meal bag, I don't even know, but I saw the water burger bag. Definitely can do it. Brighton tins, that's another one. Brighton tins, definitely. Ah, uh, yeah, eyeglass, designer eyeglass cases sell well, well too, Debbie says, absolutely. So let's see, Brenda says, is it? Oh yeah, there are definitely pieces of gold that can test that aren't. Yeah. Apple brand product boxes sell well too. Yes. And I actually have one in my room because I just bought this computer or not this one, but I just bought a computer um, when this one crumpled and died and had to get fixed. And so I bought another computer because I had to have one. Um, and so I have the box for that. I can totally sell it. Yes. Sephora bags. I wonder. I bet they would. I bet they would. 
if you get enough of them together, goodness knows Sephora, I should have a lot of them because I definitely shop there a lot. Well, used to. Okay, then, now I'm going to show you mine, but yours may be different. Um, and this is a journals. So this is a leather journal. Yes, mine is Firefly because I'm a nerd. Happily, proudly a nerd. But let's say you, I mean, because journals are a good gift that people tend to give. So this, this is just like a blank book, blank journal. But people love them. And yes, I have more than one, okay? But leather journals, there are certain brands too. What's the brand I'm thinking of? I can't think of what it's called right now. Anyway, um, but people like journals. They're a good gift. They're, they're, just, they're good to draw in and write in too. So this particular one, I could probably sell anywhere, you know, about $20 to $30 for it. And so times three, you know, we're looking at 75 bucks. That's just sitting in my closet. Now, that is to say you might have a journal that's got a cool looking owl on it. Maybe somebody gave it to you and you thought about re regifting it or something like that. But it's something you can definitely sell online. Sorry, my lip is dry. I feel like I'm chewing on it and I don't, I'm very self-conscious of it. Mm, let's see. <clears throat> oh, okay. Dave Repair says, if you have an old MacBook Pro, Working or not, it will sell for big money as new MacBooks have security chips. Oh, an Apple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I got here. My my MacBook Pro is not that old, I don't think. I think it's only a couple of years old. But I bought an Air when this one went kaput. So, yeah. I love Firefly so much. Yes, me too. Firefly. Yes. Um, okay. Then... The ne okay, the next thing, I haven't decided if I'm going to sell it or not, but this is definitely something that was a gift to me. It has dust on it, big time. I have never used it. It was a gift. Sorry, sis, if you're watching. It was a gift for my sister. She got me a neti pot. I have used a neti pot before, not this one, and I did not like it. <laughs> I didn't like it, and I didn't want to tell her. Sorry, sis. Um, so this one comes with all kinds of stuff in there wash and drops and she may want it back so if she doesn't I, it may be something i end up selling so let's say you've got a relative that gives you things that you don't think you're going to use <laughs> Allie Bear says those work i believe it it just was too something for my face <laughs> anyway let's say you 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 won't use it or you will I don't know anyway here it is this is the same one that I've got here with all of the accoutrement that's selling for twenty seven fifty four is what this one sold for and um, there are other ones that are just the pot you know selling for 15 plus dollars that one's over 12 eh. <laughs> if I was gonna sell sell it I'd probably sell it for more okay so the next item but that is to say also bathroom stuff, you know, if you've got new makeup, I mean, I don't know what the rules are about used makeup or bathroom stuff, but if it's new, you can sell it. Um, you might be able to sell it on other platforms if it's used like Poshmark. I'm not sure. So don't quote me on that. But let's say you do one of those beauty boxes like Ipsy or Sephora or whatever, or you get you know, you go to the Clinique counter and you get the freebies and you're like, oh, I have so many of these freebies from Clinique that I'm never going to use because I don't like that. Lot them up. Put them up on eBay. Somebody will buy them. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Fairy Fixin says, I use journals to keep track of sales because I can't use stand using office soft software. Yeah. And I have a little notebook that I would keep in my garage selling bag to jot down the things I bought because I'll forget how much I spent on them. And I know Chris does that too. He's a bona fide hustler. He has a little little thing that he jots down in. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie, hang on. So Debbie says, if it's dusty, it's for sale. That's my motto. If it's in your house and it's collecting dust, get it out of there. Another thing too, which I didn't go into my pantry and yank it down, but I have a, uh, a KitchenAid mixer. Right. And I have, you know, one year my mom got us all those. And like the next year she got us a bunch of the attachments. Right. And so I have like the juicer attachment, which 
I've used a few times, but then I have a separate juicer that I use that is way more efficient and easier to clean. So I have that, like I could totally sell that or the pasta maker attachment for the KitchenAid, which I've never used. So, and it's probably been in my pantry for eight plus years. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what about old scarves? Yeah, definitely. Old scarves. I just showed some gloves yesterday that I'm going to sell vintage gloves. Um, then, oh wait, I didn't show this one. The next thing that I got, oh, I, let me show it to you before I show you that, is a little basket. And this one is a longer burger basket. And longer burgers don't sell for what they used to, but they're out of business. So I have a feeling the prices are going to start going back up. But this was a little basket that I got at a garage sale. My ex-husband used to work for a longer burger or he interned there or something. So he was really fond of it. Whenever I found them at garage sales, he always wanted me to get them and keep them. I'm not a basket kind of girl. Okay. But so I had this one. This is the one that I, that I hang on to because it's kind of cute. I kind of like this one. I like that it has a lid and I can put stuff in it <laughs> as you might with a basket. Uh, but this one, when I was looking for how much I could sell it for, you know, might be able to sell it for 25 bucks. So there's one for 25, one for 14. No rhyme or reason. It's the same basket, right? I think. Well, one's 1990, one's 2003. It's the same basket, though. Who cares what year, right? Maybe they do care. I don't know. Um, so that one's in kind of banged up shape. You know, that one there. That was, so there's that. So if you've got baskets, people like baskets. <laughs> Think not just baskets, but, you know, organizing stuff. So this it's actually kind of cute. You can use this as a purse even. That might be a cute little purse. <gasps> now I'm talking myself into keeping it. Oh, man. Because I could totally purse this. Oh, my gosh. Put your stuff in there. Close it up. And then if I wanted to make some money. Sorry if you're new here. You're like, what am I watching? I could use it as a drum. <sighs> so, Debbie says, let it go. You're right. You're right. I'm not going to use this as a purse. I've got purses. We're good. Um. Rebel says, that's a Longenberger kid purse. Yes. <laughs> okay. So there's that. So that, okay, I'll let it go. You're right. You're right. I don't need it. <laughs> then the next thing, I uh, this was my, I don't know if I'm going to share this one, but I am going to, where did they go? Oh, here it is. It's hiding. I feel like I skipped something. Let me make sure. No, 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 we're good. So the next thing is just another random it's like a collectible, again, Firefly. I used to get the Firefly Loot Crate boxes, and it's a flask. So maybe you got a gift of a flask, and, you're, and it was like a gag gift or something. So this is not a gag gift, but it's funny. Thrilling Heroics rum, just like Mama Cobb used to make. But perhaps you've got another flask that somebody gave you, or another gag gift, white elephant gift, something like that. Um, then, you know, take a look and see. It might be worth putting it up on eBay to sell. Because what are you going to do with these white elephant gifts or these gag gifts that you get from office parties? Or th That's another thing too, like Christmas ornaments. If you do like a Christmas ornament exchange with people at work and you get an ornament that you don't really like, then that's another option as well. Either re-gift it, Christmas ornaments sell. So definitely. Um this one is probably like 10 bucks or something like that. So the next thing, again, just random stuff. This is so awesome. It is so awesome. And you might say to yourself, Margaret, why would you sell that? Why would you get rid of it? Here is why. The reason is, maybe I won't. <laughs> the reason is that I saw this at a garage sale and I was like, oh my gosh, that is exactly the same little treasure chest you know, coin holder that my grandmother had, you know, I would go to her house and she would let me like, I like to play with money even as a child. Um, and so it was just full of coins and I would dump them out and play with them, sort them and look at all the coins and just because, you know, we didn't have electronics back then. So I was like, when I saw this at a garage, I was like, Oh my gosh, that's the same one, like sentimental. So you still might be telling yourself, okay, then keep it. Here's the thing. 
I have it. I already have the the one downstairs in my entryway on a little table so I can see it every single day <laughs> next to my little skeleton that eats money. Um, yes, <laughs> I have a little skeleton that eats money. Um, but I already have it. So why did I buy another one? Because I was like, oh, it reminds me of that, that I actually have. <laughs> so maybe you've got something that you bought that is a sentimental item and thought that you wanted to keep it, but you bought another one and you already have it or ran just the heartstrings, right? <laughs> Tug at stuff that you see that, you know, remind you of your past or your childhood or whatever. So now I'm thinking maybe I should keep it because my kids really like the one that we have downstairs. And that way they won't fight over who gets it because they, when they get out this one too. <laughs> I need to show you all that because, well, you've seen this now, but I have a little, in my entryway, there's like this little thing. I have an old typewriter that I thrifted. And then I have this skeleton, like, it's one of those that the hand goes up to the mouth and like you put the coin on its hand and then you pull the lever and it like it gobbles down the, the coin. Anyway, yeah, it's the feels, definitely, definitely. And I have some little teeny books, same deal. Like I already had the little books. They were like the frog and me, the boy, the frog and the dog, those little, I think they're Mercer Mayer, but they're little tiny books. There's no words in them. Same exact reason. I would look at them at my grandmother's house and then I was at a, like a junk store out in the middle of nowhere, Texas, and I saw them and I had to buy it because I was like, oh, that's the same books from my childhood at going to grandmother's house. So she says, there, she says the older you get, the worse it gets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Then again, I'm not going to pull it. I know it's a big box. So I buy myself things because I like collecting things, but I have so much things. I like Harry Potter a lot. And I, oh, I have a bunch of stuff sitting on top of it. So um, I have this, let me zoom it in so you can see it on here. It's this like nano scene, like it's, a, it's like the castle, right? And it comes with little mini characters. And I bought, a, I bought that and I bought a bunch of the characters thinking, oh, I'm going to set this up and like have a little display Harry Potter stuff. And I never did. I still have a tub full of Harry Potter collectibles that I haven't gotten rid of in my closet. They're just in the tub. So I was like, you know what? This doesn't fit in my tub. I was trying to get like, okay, all of this stuff has to fit in one or two tubs. Everything else has to go. I can't keep everything in the world, Harry Potter and Firefly. So <clears throat> I decided I was going to go ahead and sell it. So that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, they're selling for 25, 30 bucks and I'm going to sell it. So there's that. So maybe you've got something you bought for yourself and you're thinking, oh, why did I do that? I don't need that. I can get rid of it. Yeah, <clears throat> I can totally get rid of it. Okay. So those are my items. I feel like I had something else. It's probably just more jewelry because I am always catch and releasing jewelry, keeping jewelry. I have more. Yeah, this thing is full of it. <clears throat> Lots of jewelry that I thought I was going to keep that clearly I just need to get rid of. All right. Let me know if there's something that you thought I should have included in this video, things that you could find around your house. These were all things that I found around my house that I could probably sell or I will sell that I could probably make between six and seven hundred dollars. So add in and check those comments to check the chat. There was a lot of uh, comments in the chat that I did not get to read out, but definitely uh, Auntie Chrissy says shoes and Deborah says Winnie the Pooh. So all kinds of stuff, sweet tea boxes. I think that's what you're so. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I hope you found this video helpful. Um, go down there if you're new. I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel so that you get more videos about how to sell on eBay and what kinds of things to sell. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, everybody.